Hey everybody, welcome to Hello. Rip Hops React. You're me, BP1 and BP2 over there. We're here with the Carol Burnett Show, uh, which we've enjoyed a couple yes. uh, before. Um, I have got a shout out. I can't remember her name. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Probably a bit like Mrs. Wiggins, I expect. Um, I'm just giggling because I've just seen that thing on the top of his head. Um, I think if what? I turn sideways, it looks like he's got a little uh, little thing sat up on the top there, mate. A toupee? Yes, it does indeed. So, Mrs. Wiggins, also known as Mr. Tudball and Mrs. Wiggins, a series of comedy sketches featured on The Carol Burnett Show. Um, where are we going? The Carol Burnett Show introduced a skit series during its ninth season, 1975 to 76, continued to air new installments for the remainder of its 11 season run. Uh, Tim Conway created the sketch after the Carl Burnett uh, show writer's office secretary, Charlene, would constantly press the wrong button on the intercom. Hey. Some good with buttons, especially on a Sunday live show. Check it out every two hey. weeks. He is our very own Mr. Wiggins. All right, mate. All right. No idea, but already we can kind of see where this is going. All right, let's, let's get into it then. Uh... I'll put it forward just so we get something to, to reference. Just the music. That's classic, classic. Classic. Hello, Mrs. Wiggins. Mrs. Huygens. <laughs> Mrs. Huygens, the reason that I pressed that intercom system is to talk to you is because I wanted to see you. I don't mean to see you with my nut balls. I mean to see you right in there into that office. <laughs> when? Well, I'm free now if it wouldn't end. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? Well, I did say so. I said so on that intercom system. You never answered it to me with your voice. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be more handy if I put a revolving door in here for you? <laughs> 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 and now, Mrs. Huygens, uh, the reason I brought you in here now is because I have a real in the port in the meeting today with Mr. Phillips. Uh, he's going to be here at noon. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Huygens, uh, do you have an idea of what I'm saying? Yeah, I think so. And that's uh, close enough. <laughs> now, I want to run over two very important parts with you here because of this meeting. Now, first of all, I don't want anybody into this office here before noon. Uh, do you understand that? Yeah. All right. Now, point two, there's uh, some things in these contracts here that they are a little fuzzy at this time. So we're going to run over those together. Just in case of this time it's a <laughs> Mrs. Huggins, uh, when I said I don't want to see anybody in here before noon, that don't include the people that I paid the salary to. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh dear me. Ha, 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 ha.
You're the only person that I know that uh, can actually uh, tailgate herself. <laughs> <laughs> This meeting, do you have any estimated the time uh, that those uh, doggone nails are going to be dry? <laughs> no. We're beginning to attract the fruit flies. <laughs> Squadron of those come over and dip their wings to us. <laughs> Now, like I told you, I have this really important meeting today with Mr. Phillips. Oh, yeah, he'll be here at noon. Oh, thank you for that the news flash. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any news on the Hindenburg? <laughs> <laughs> now, when he comes in here today at the noon, uh, he's allowed to ask me some questions on this dog on the contracts that I can't answer. So I got the little the plan that worked out here to do that. Now, when he's in here and you see me stand up at, to my desk, you press that buzzer in there on that intercom system and tell me I got the rail in the part in the phone call. And that way I have a little time to look up that answer. Now, you think you got that? Yeah. That's um. a dynamite. Okay. <laughs> Uh, why don't you go in there and we'll try this. When I stand up, you push that buzzer and tell me I got the real important phone call. Okay. All right. How about the doing that now? <laughs> All right. Well, now, Mr. Phillips, that's a really good question. I'll have that answer for you real soon. Soon as I have that answer for... <laughs> Excuse me a minute. Excuse me a minute. Hey, straw head, listen. <laughs> Are you supposed to see me in there when you're doing your nails like that? You should have a one eye on it to me, one eye on to the desk. So you want to see me stand up, then you ring that buzzer for me. Now repeat that after me. Do you understand what I said? Yeah. What you want me to do when Mr. Phillips gets here is to wait and look at you when he asks you an important question that you don't know the answer to, You'll stand up, and that's a signal for me to buzz you on the intercom to tell you that you have an important call. And the fog is beginning to lift. <laughs> Watch me when I do that now. What? Watch me when I do that. <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Phillips, that's a really good question. I'll have that answer in a minute. But first, <laughs> yes, Mrs. Huggins, uh, what is it? Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know what? You know that when you stand up, you have an important phone call. Well, tell that to me on the box. Miss, <laughs> yes. oh, get right in here, will you, Mrs. Huggins? Forget the phone call. There's no phone call. We're just a pretending like that. Now you get in here. Right now. Who's in here now? <laughs> hmm. You're a real Jesse Owens. <laughs> give you this a dumb simple thing to do. You don't even understand the how to do this. This is a lack of working at the Looney Tunes. <laughs> 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 
sit over here. What? I want you to pretend that you're me, and I'll pretend that I'm you. And you sit there. Now, when I point you from that room, you stand up. Then I'm going to buzz that buzzer and tell you you got a real important phone call. Now, you understand that? Yeah, I'm you and you are me. For a good news there. All right. And don't forget when I point to you. Again, you know, very clean. Didn't need to go, you know, down the down the gutter. Um, no, I yeah, think exactly. The funny voices gave them lots of leeway to make silly, make it silly, didn't they? Yeah, live studio audience as well. So yeah. you know, it, it's hard. You can break character quite easily in, yeah. in a live environment. So uh, I thought they did very well, very cleverly done. You the old choose. intercom. Yeah, it's great watching it. Do you remember the old pen holders there, the old ink well, Yes, well, that's it. Yeah, I mean, fountain yeah, pen, fountain pen. Yeah, classic, um, classic. That's very, very say. funny. It's just classic. Yeah, I, I mean, very. I mean, kind of reminded me of the you know the faulty tower s kind of silly humour. Want it? You know, Basil, all that. Want it? You know, yeah, yeah. Manuel and the funny voices and stuff like that. Never, never seen it. But I mean, we've done Carol Burnett. Didn't know anything about this. Um, Tim Conway, funny guy. I mean, again, genius putting that sort of Dutchy style, kind of Dutch German esque, wasn't it? Because when he first yeah. started talking, I went, "What kind of accent's that?" You know, I couldn't quite yeah. understand. And then as it no. went on, you kind of tuned in a bit better. But very clever, very good. Thank you, yeah. uh, everybody, for recommending that. Impressive. Liked it. Yeah, indeed. Uh, that was good. Thank you so much for your recommendations out there uh, on YouTube. But we can't do these things without you because we don't know, yes. you know what we should be checking out. And you do a great job of telling us what we should over here in Britain. Uh, you do we indeed. <laughs> uh, Get a thumbs up from me. Thumbs up from me too. Very funny. Very good. Okay, man. Press that intercommy thingy. I and pressed the wrong button. <laughs> he did. He <laughs> genuinely pressed it. I genuinely <laughs> pressed the wrong button. One job. One, One job. One job. Uh, uh, thank you so much for joining us today at Every Pop Track. Until tomorrow, for our reactions. Goodbye from me over there. Uh, goodbye from him. Uh, Later. Cheers. You got an important call. Have I?